Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to shade a sphere. And hopefully once you learn how to shade a sphere, you're going to be able to learn how to shade a bunch of other different things. This is an example of where we're going. This is a shaded sphere. Um, if you remember, we always used a light source, directed a light source, and the area that got hit by the light was lighter, and then the light was blocked by the other areas, and that those are the areas that are in shadow. So now, what we're going to do is start a new one. We're going to be using some new tools. The first tool is a charcoal pencil. A charcoal pencil is different from a normal pencil because once you put the charcoal down on the paper, you can smudge it around. We'll also be using an eraser, a blending stump, which I'll show you that in a second, and a white colored pencil, and that's for the highlight areas. We'll get to that last. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the charcoal pencil, or you can start with a normal pencil just to draw the shape of your sphere. So I'm going to just go ahead and draw a nice big sphere at the center of my paper. All right, and there it is. It's just a circle right now. Now, what we're going to do with the charcoal pencil is we are going to shade it. Well, first we're going to decide here's our light source coming from over here. The light source is going to come from over here, which means we know that this area is going to be the lightest area. The areas around that are going to be darker. So what I do is I use some hatching marks or just I just very lightly fill in in a circular motion or in a circular shape I should say like a crescent moon shape around the edges of the sphere and it's okay if you get some lines going on there because we're gonna blend those together so just in a sort of a like I said a crescent moon shape around the sphere we're gonna shade in with that charcoal pencil and you can use the edge of the charcoal pencil. You're going to cover more area that way. Usually you'll have a tip, a little point. Those are the areas that you're going to use for details. But when you're doing this type of thing, you can just shade with the side of the charcoal pencil. Then you can use one of two tools, either the blending tool or your finger. Uh, the blending tool is fine, but it might it kind of scratches the paper a little bit. It's a little it's a little rougher. It's more exact than your finger, so when you're doing details, this will work better. Uh, I usually, for the big areas, will use my finger to blend. So I'll use one of either my index finger or my middle finger and just kind of push the charcoal around the paper in that crescent moon shape. Now, as you're doing this, you're going to see that the charcoal spreads, it gets softer, and uh, it probably gets a little bit lighter, which means we're going to come back in and add more charcoal to the areas to make the areas we want darker even more darker. So, I'll take the charcoal pencil, come back around on the sides, and I'm going in a second loop now in that crescent form, but this time I'm staying a little bit closer to the edges. And this is basically the whole process, and we're going to do this a few times. And every time you do this, it, the shape starts to turn a little bit more 3D. Starts looking a little bit more like a sphere. And if you think that the inside needs to be a little darker, you can just add a little bit more of these lines as you get closer to that highlight point come back in and blend and blend and blend and blend now if you get a little bit too much before we get to our highlight tool we can also use our eraser and the eraser uh, usually will pull, you don't have to push hard at all, it will pull the charcoal right off the page very nicely. Again, you don't have to use the eraser unless you really feel like you need to pull back. And right now I still need more, so I'm going to keep going.
Now we're getting pretty close. Now one thing I'm going to do is make some marks, some nice dark charcoal marks on the edges to really exaggerate the shadows a little bit. And that helps again make it look just a little bit more 3D. And then when we get about as much of the uh, dark charcoal marks that we want, then we can switch. I'm going to switch over to my highlighting tool, which is just a white colored pencil. And I'm going to take the white colored pencil and just add a little bit. And the white colored pencil doesn't blend the way the charcoal does. White colored pencil, whatever mark you put down on the paper is the mark that stays on the paper. You don't really move this around. So. I'm going to use a little bit of that white colored pencil right here in the highlight area and just sort of exaggerate the highlight. And then I can sort of blend into it with the charcoal. And I'm almost done and now it's just a matter of refining the edges. So now I'm going to take my charcoal pencil. I'm going to look for that point. It's like a crayon. When you use it, the point shifts different areas. But I'm going to take that charcoal pencil, look for that point, and use that point to bring out the edges of the sphere. And if I think about it, if the light's coming from this direction, the other thing I might think about is dropping a shadow behind it. If I wanted to do that, all I would have to do is just sort of add some of those charcoal marks and then just sort of blend it back. And that's pretty much it. Now it's your turn.